Being experts on Trader Workstation is important at Maverick Trading. All Maverick traders use Trader Workstation to place their stock and option trades and have been doing that for 12 plus years. Our traders need to be perfect on the platform as they trade our capital and keep 70 to 80 percent of the profits they generate. We're happy to release some of our TWS training to the public as we know TWS can be an intimidating software. If you're ready to become a professional stock and option trader, click on the application link in the description below. Now on to our TWS tutorial. All right, so an introduction to Interactive Brokers short sell cost. When short selling, there's actually two parties involved. Short selling is the literal borrowing of shares and selling them in the market. So if you are the short seller, there is a cost associated with that. However, you can be the lender of those shares. So you can sign up to be a lender at Interactive Brokers, have your shares lent out and actually receive some income. So the short seller does pay. There is what's called an easy to borrow list and a hard to borrow list. You can get an easy to borrow list at your broker. So contact them, say, I'd like the easy to borrow list. It will have thousands of companies that you can go and place a short sell and the trade will go right through no problem whatsoever. If it's on the hard to borrow list, they may not be able to find shares or it will be more expensive. So the short selling fee, when you short shares, there is a fee associated with that. And you can actually look at that and break it down. There's a value date. That is the day that you short the stock the stock symbol, how many shares, the price of the stock, and the total value. In this case, this person has shorted 15,000. So they have borrowed the shares, sold them short. It's $15,000 at a fee of 0.25. That is basically 10% a day is what that calculates to. And again, it would be based on the borrowing fee, that fee rate. If it's on the easy to borrow list, your fee rate will be lower. However, if we come down here to the hard to borrow and we do an example, notice the fee rate is considerably higher. If these are shares that there's no inventory, there's no borrowable shares that they can really find, um, if you are one of those that can get short that type of stock, maybe you find some shares or through the prime brokers they have a few shares, you're going to pay a much higher rate. It's basically supply and demand. And if there's not enough supply, those that demand it and can get short the stock pay a higher rate. So here you can see the a huge difference. This is only $1,800 worth of value, and yet it's $2.50 a day. The, the prior example was $15,000 a day, and it was a couple of pennies. Here, it's only $1,800 of total borrowable short and yet it comes out to two dollars and fifty cents per day so if you are short that stock for an extended period of time that would be a larger amount that you will accrue in fees for being short so when you're short selling just understand because you are borrowing something you pay when you borrow things when you borrow assets when you borrow cash you pay something for that that is your fee rate multiplied by the value equals your borrowing fee on a daily basis. It will take you through some calculations on that. And then again, if you are to lend out shares, you can be paid interest to you. So this is the proceeds. So let's say we had $150,000 in our account and we were allowing that to be borrowed. You'll notice the, the blended rate here. The first 100000 you don't receive anything, but anything above that, you get paid the interest and the amount accordingly. So you're collecting 4% basically at current levels based on the 50000 that you are lending out to allowing them to be shorted. And there's your blended rate because the first 100000 is not collecting any interest. You're only getting the 4% on fifty. So on the combined 150, that's the amount that you're collecting, and you can calculate those. Now, that's not that's something nice that IB offers. Not all brokerages do that, which is 
another stream of income. If you're just going to sit there and hold that stock anyway and not do anything with it, if you're a buy and hold investor and you're sitting there holding $200,000 worth of whatever XYZ stock and ABC and all these different positions, if you lend them out, you don't collect anything on the first 100000 but you collect interest at about 4% on anything above 100000 of the stocks that you're lending out. That can be at least something. It's another stream of income while that stock's just sitting there. And you don't lose your stock. There's no risk to your stock being uh, lost in any way, shape, or form. And if you ever wanted to sell your stock, you can go and do that. And they will return the shares and so forth. It's all It all happens behind the scenes. But this is another way that you can generate some income. And for the individual investor, a lot of brokerages do not do that and do not pay you anything. So that's a nice feature at Interactive Brokers. So in summary, when you are short selling, you are borrowing, so you pay a fee. If you allow shares that are sitting in your account to be borrowed, you can collect some interest. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.